In this series, we are using the WinSock API since this series is for Windows. When using the WinSock API, you need to initialize and shut down the API when you begin using it and when you are done using it. We are going to create a network class inside of our shared library for initializing the WinSock API and shutting it down. Let's go ahead and create a new header file. We are going to call this network.h. Let's wrap our new class in the pnet namespace, call that network. We are going to have two functions, one for initialize and one for shutdown. This will only be called once per application, and we don't really need to track anything regarding an instance of it. So due to that, I'm just going to make both of these static. We will also need to include the winsock header. One other thing is we're going to add a define called win32 lean and mean. What this define will do is just cut out a lot of extra Windows crap that is inside of these headers that we won't need. Let's go ahead and generate the definitions for these functions. For shutdown, it's very simple. We will just call a function called WSA cleanup, which stands for Winsock API cleanup. For initialize, we're going to call something called WSA startup. This returns an integer, which if it's successful, it should be zero. And if an error occurred, it should not be zero. We will pass in the version that we are requesting, which in our case will be 2.2. And then we are having a pointer to a Winsock API data, which will get filled with the version that we receive. Let's go ahead and take a look at the documentation for this function. So in the Microsoft documentation, we can see an example of how this should be called. For the version requested, we should call the make word macro, and we will pass in the low byte and the high byte for the version. We want version 2.2, so we will pass in a macro just like this, make word 2.2. When we call WSA startup, we will also need to pass in the address of our Winsock API data struct. And this will be used later to check the low byte and high byte, so to see what version we actually got. And we want to make sure that we did get version 2.2, otherwise we will consider this as a failure. So first let's make our Winsock API data struct. When we call startup, we are going to pass in the make word macro with version 2.2 and then we need to pass in the address of our data struct. We also need to get the return value and we will store that in an integer called result. Now if result is not zero then that means the startup failed. Also if the uh, version we got back was not 2.2, then the startup failed. And we can check the version by using the macros low byte and high byte to get the version that we got. We're going to include iostream so that we can use C error. And then after we print out the error, we will just return false. In the same with the low byte and high byte checking, we will print out could not find a usable version of the Winsock API DLL. If we pass both of these checks, then we will return true. And there we go. We have set up our functions for initializing and shutting down Winsock. Now before we implement this, I want to go ahead and remove the old source.cpp we had in the shared library that was just for testing to make sure we had everything set up correctly and delete that. And inside of the include me, I'm going to remove that declaration and we are going to instead include the network header. Now down in our server.cpp, we are going to say if well, first let's add that namespace because I don't feel like typing that every time. If network initialize, then if we're in this code block, well, then the API was properly started up. And then at the end of the code, before we exit, 
we will do shutdown. So if initialize, we will just print out WinSock API successfully initialized. We will also have to include IO screen here. And we're going to put the same thing in the client CPP. Now, when we go to compile the server, for example, we will run into an issue. So we go to rebuild, it's going, and then we get uh, linker errors. And it's saying it doesn't know what WSA startup or WSA cleanup are. Inside of our server and our client properties for this uh, projects, we have to link them to the Winsock library. So we'll go into the linker, we'll go into input, and before we link to pnet, we will link to ws2 underscore 32. Make sure that's for all configurations and all platforms. And we're going to do the same thing for the client. Now we should be able to rebuild everything in the solution. All right, and they were successful. So I'm going to set the server as my startup project and just put a system pause at the end and test this. We'll hit F5. And we see Winsock API successfully initialized. Press any key to continue. In the next video, we are going to look at how to create a socket.